All right, this is Dust Awaits in the Jervis. Oh, KT Craft. Good player. Don't recognize anybody else in this game. Oh, Hans. Hans, I've seen him before. So this is a top tier game, so congratulations on that. Um, I need to... Control shift backspace. Need to get a quick screenshot here of ship. Jervis is such a handsome looking ship, huh? Doesn't look good. Uh, something like that. I don't want to clip in that ship in the background. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. A little bit farther back. That works. Okay. Good. Done. Oh, you found a turkey in here too, didn't you? Number 194 in the Monaghan. Am I streaming today? Yes, I am streaming today. Right now, Mr. Right You Are Ken. Okay. What's up, Ducky? So, anyway, um, top tier. Jervis is a really good destroyer. You've got the ability to uh, kind of get in there with the guns, do a lot of stuff in a way. The third turret is a 360 degree rotator, so that's kind of nice. Um, you've got uh, Papa Papa running with equal speed. No. Uh, no, no equal speed. You've got Commander XP. Okay, so one thing I would recommend, just uh, the economist in me would say, you want if you want to run Papa Papa, run equal speed as well. Uh, those two work hand in hand really well together. Um, you could choose to get rid of like the um, the uh, flood chance or whatever. Anyway, um, I'm gonna assume that you have IFHE on this captain because the British destroyers, if you want to spam HE, you need to have IFHE in order to make it really that effective. Now, this is really dangerous. You know that there's two destroyers now, so you know that you're gonna see torpedoes coming in. It's a good idea to pop your um, your hydro, and you're repositioning and then slowing back down again. This is actually kind of nice, because it means that you're gonna get out for one sec, see what's going on on the battle, and then pop back in, which is exactly what you just did. So that was pretty good. You have a Fush in there, so you actually don't have to worry about him that much. As you switch to torpedoes to go and shoot the Aoba, which makes sense. You've got a second rack you can drop, uh, but it looks like you want to hold it for, okay, where you think that the Fushin's going to back up into. Now uh, you'll notice that the, the hydro time on the Dervis is quite long. So it's really good at camping in places um, and detecting those torps, all that good stuff. Um, good awareness of your of your area, looking around to make sure that you're not going to beat yourself. You're giving yourself an um, an exit strategy. Very smart. And then backing around the island, you know the torps are going to come from this way. So why would you why would you sit in, in that plain sight for those torpedoes? Now you're going to go up and do a little bumpy debump. Torpedoes to port. And then you're going to back up again. Interesting um, choices there. Now, shooting now, you might... Yep, you're going to get spotted doing that, but that's okay. You've got your smoke again as the Podvoisky gets detonated. That's unfortunate. Fushin getting a little aggressive there. Oh, boy. Those torpedoes were spotted, too. Oh, well. I would agree, SAT. Um, definitely something to consider is if you've got the ability to torp things, fine, but try to get in the habit of using your guns as much as you can. Uh, 
Now, in this kind of situation, you beached yourself. Oh my god, team kill. Wow. Okay, well that Aoba just kind of saved your butt. <laughs> Once again, like SAT was saying, get your get your guns firing on the Aoba while you turn your ship to put in position to um, torpedo. <coughs> if that's what you're looking to do, you definitely want to maximize your uh, gun output. See, like you've got that Omaha there, you could be shooting at right now. There you go. Oh, thanks, Evan, here. Yeah, running and gunning isn't going to help too much if you've got a lot of enemies nearby. Um, you got really lucky uh, in that they were shooting other people for a while. And, of course, there was that team kill, too. All right, Elba is coming. I wouldn't, I wouldn't commit to this. I would have I slowed down, actually, and stopped and just kind of watched. Doing this, you're going to pull yourself out in front of the New York. And uh, obviously, the Aoba's going to see you now. And we've already seen that the King George uh, has killed has killed people um, with HE. And then we see, just now, that Fushin stopped right next to you. He's right here. But you haven't noticed him because you're so, so hyper-focused. Now you realized it. But now you're going back to this Aoba like, eh, whatever. see if we can get the hydro range on here. He's just outside your hydro range. Now you you get out of that smoke, you're gonna get spotted. And now you're forced to run. Although <laughs> lol. Yeah, the nice thing about the British destroyers is that the smoke becomes available really quickly. Uh, as you can see, the smoke's about to get, come back up again. So you can use it as a way to break contact very easily and then go back into what you were doing. I used to love doing that um, with the Kiev in Ranked. Oh, there we go. I guess I was missing your view. Sorry. Well, he's using his smoke quite a bit, which is okay if it means that he is able to, you know, fire at things and, and whatever safely. Um, but you're, you're doing it in, in a slightly reckless fashion. Also, I would switch to AP at this point, get some AP into the superstructure. You'll get more damage that way. Back to the New York, huh? Yeah, the time I'm gonna I'm gonna play Turkey again, but don't wait up for me. If you want to play more, just go ahead and play more. Get those games in. Get your make sure you're averaging over 80 games. That way we all get the most loots. And that's the game. So, oh my God, you got so lucky. Oh, um, a lot of things to think about there. Situational awareness, when to push, when not to push, when to get yourself spotted, when not to get yourself spotted. Um, I would almost recommend after watching this to go right back at the start and watch it again and maybe even watch it at like fifth you know, like half speed or something at some of the parts because there's an awful lot that happens really quick all right um game crashed 
My cat wants my attention, so he's putting his butt on my mouse pad. That's great. <sighs> That's... Alright, World of Warships, where the hell are you? Let's go by name. That's easier. There it is. Maybe not. What? Oh. Here we go. Critical error. Yeah, I know. Alright, so that one's done. Any other comments for, um, for Destawaits here? I think we covered most of it. Gaming just said something that makes me very happy. Sean M07.